Hi, I'm Sally, and in this video I'm going to show you how to cut a portion of a photo out and put it onto another photo. So I'm going to take this uh, funny, uh, not super flattering photo of myself, and I'm going to put it in uh, Lake Tahoe. So I've got my photo here. I've got it cropped out a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this quick selection tool here. This is one of my favorite tools to use. Uh, if you may have the magic wand tool selected, so if you uh, make sure you select the quick selection tool. I'm going to click on the plus here and just start selecting myself. And I may connect with the background a bit. That's okay. So I want to make sure I have my hands in there. I got my shadow a bit. Um, this is going to be a little bit sloppy because it's not, you know, it's not super professional. But so I'm going to just cut out some of these sections here. And I prefer this quick selection tool over the other tools. Um, if you wanted to get really um, really good at it, I would use the um, this tool here, the pen tool, and you would zoom in really closely and pinpoint every little selection uh, to get really pre precise results. That's what I would do when I was editing product photos um, for our products that were going on Amazon uh, several years ago. Uh, but for this, this is just going to be a goofy one, so I'm using this quick selection tool. It looks like I cut off a section of my head here. Oh, I can undo that. Now there's one thing that uh, is a little difficult with this quick selection tool. Um, so it looks like that little chunk of my head is going to be cut off. Um, it's a little more difficult <coughs> to get super precise on things. And that's why I would recommend the pen tool. So you would just put dots uh, where you want to uh, select sections. So that's pretty good there. I'll jump up, uh, see if I can get my hand a little better. This was at a karaoke night. Fun times. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to put it in a fun background. Let's put it at Lake Tahoe. Flashback to several years ago so I can get a little tighter there. So that's, that's pretty good there. Um, w we will refine this so it'll work. So that's one option. You know another option that works really well too is if the background is pretty solid. What you can do is select the background and deselect uh, the focus of your image and then click on uh, inverse and that'll select you so that It'll you know swap if you select the background, then you can invert your selection, um, and then create your mask. So I've um, so I have this. I'm going to hide my background, and I'm going to click on here. So I'm going to create a mask. So you can see it's a bit choppy there. So what we're going to do is click right click on here and refine mask because we want to smooth it a bit. Maybe cut the feather down a little bit, but we want to smooth the edges. And if there are little, if there's a little too much showing here, you can always move them in a bit. Oh, I'm a little too feathered. Okay. So that'll work for now. So then what I will do is I have my Lake Tahoe photo open right here. So I'm just going to, oh yeah, my arm disappeared. Um, I'm going to click on myself and drag myself up to here and drop myself down in there. And I am giant, so I'm going to uh, shrink myself. So let's put me at maybe 25%. And then enter. So 
so I'm still probably a little too tall for this but it's kind of a silly little photo there so so that works but that's how you would you would make your selection select your object and then just you can drag it into another photo here if I wanted to make it realistic I would probably add um, add a drop shadow uh, you probably want to play around with it a bit you know distance it out a ways and you know just kind of mess around with it you, know, you change the angle so that looks weird but anyway so that is how you cut part of a photo and put it into another photo so I hope this was helpful uh, if you have any questions post them in the comments or if you have any kind words about my Photoshop skills I'd love to hear them as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for tuning in and have a great day